hard resisting buying Halloween stuff, you know? It's just like, where does one stop? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, Halloween Happy, where Halloween is more than just once a year. How's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my latest Halloween finds from Halloweening. If this is your first time checking out my channel, hi, my name is Sam. Are you excited for Halloween? Here on this channel, we always celebrate Halloween. We turn every holiday into Halloween because Halloween is a season that lasts all year. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. So I'm always buying Halloween stuff. Unfortunately for my wallet and for my bank account, like I'm not gonna be able to ever retire. Are we in frame? Hello? I do get a lot of questions of where do I find my Halloween stuff. And guys, I'm telling you, go thrifting. Sometimes I get it because thrifting does take, let me sit up. I feel like, oh, and I'm wearing the same shirt in like the two videos you're, you guys are gonna see so i hope that's okay but a lot of you guys do ask me like how do you find so much halloween stuff and i don't mean it to my own horn but usually halloween finds me i know there's a lot of you guys out there that can relate to that like halloween just finds you definitely check out your thrift stores yard sales check online at like facebook market and all of that stuff i mean you'd really be surprised some of my favorite thrift stores are just like random thrift stores like mom and pop thrift stores and then i also like um salvation army goodwill savers although like savers is starting to charge like a tj maxx and <laughs> Someone needs, someone needs to tell them they need to relax. I found this at Salvation Army. There was another item I was gonna get because sometimes like, I'll try not to get a lot. <sighs> try not to buy like every Halloween item that I see. If there's one that I'm just kind of like, meh, I won't buy it on its own. But if there's another thing that makes it worth the purchase, I'm like, okay, fine. There was something else, I can't remember the item, but obviously it wasn't that important because I didn't get it. I found this little ceramic jack-o-lantern bowl and this goes perfectly along with all the little bowls that I have. I thought it was really cute. I don't know what else I can say about this. Uh, this was a dollar though. I would have purchased this on its own. I found, so I'm not like a huge VHS collector. I will only pick up ones that, like if it's Creature from the Black Lagoon or if it's Halloween um, or Halloween. I found the VHS of Double Double Toil and Trouble with Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. I found this and I was like, do I need this? I don't need it. I didn't need it, but whatever. It's fine. Good old Double Double Toil and Trouble. Let me know if you guys have seen this movie. I'm sure if you're a Halloween fan, you have totally seen this movie and it's probably a yearly watch for you and probably a monthly watch for some of us, right? It's a good one. Found a few fall and Halloween magazines. This first one is Country Living. It's an October issue from last year, 2018. But this one's just more like fall. Here's the cover of that. Did see a magazine of like Halloween quilting for this season, so that made me so excited. I can't wait to buy all the Halloween magazines. Um, do we have anything cool in this one? Oh, this one made me hungry. I loved like going into the doctor's office and then they would always have like the fall and Halloween magazines out and I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm fine with waiting three hours. Like this is totally okay. I got a little article about a barn party, the witching hour. Yeah, definitely um, check your thrift stores for the magazine area and like the books and stuff. And yes, we got some books, guys. Don't you worry. Next is this Craft and Things. And this is actually from October 2001. Pretty decent shape. Little crafts. And this is like a little magic lamp that you can do. This one is a good one. This is actually Crochet World, and this issue is from October 1979. Is that not berserks? Like, are you kidding me? These dolls are kind of uh, frightening, if I'm honest. Jack-o-lantern doorknob cover. Can you guys see that? You crochet a little doorknob cover, and it has bells. You know, that'd be good for 
security system. Am I right? This one is from Tim Preston. This one is called Pumpkin Moon. It's midnight on Halloween and something strange is happening. It's October 31st and something strange is happening all over town. The trick-or-treaters have gone to bed, but the spooky fun has just begun. Jack-o'-lanterns by the hundreds are springing to life, sailing off their porches to join witches and ghouls for the wildest Halloween party ever, all by the light of the glowing pumpkin. The illustrations in this are just stunning. There's one. When I saw the last page, I was like, whoa. This is weird. Um, but here's the pumpkin moon. Um, when I was driving, where was I driving? I can't remember right now, but I remember thinking about life and thinking about like just Halloween and like my path and all that stuff and I looked up and the moon looked like a jack-o'-lantern. It was as if the universe put this jack-o'-lantern on the moon and was like, Sam, this is it. Like, you know, it was really weird, but it was beautiful. And so that just made me think of that. So yeah, it's kind of weird, huh? This one is Sing Along Holiday Stories, The 13 Days of Halloween. This is by Carol Green. It's just like the 12 days of Christmas. You know, on the sixth day of Halloween, my good friend gave to me six owls of screeching, five cooked worms, four giggling ghosts, three fat toads, two hissing cats, and a vulture and a dead tree. All of the days counting down to Halloween. It's great. I got this one thinking ahead for Valoween, Groggle's Monster Valentine. It's just a little monster Valentine book. I thought that was pretty cute. Groggle has been up all night making a Valentine's Day card. He finds the right heart shaped leaves. Look at that. A Halloween scare in Boston. I thought that was quite fitting with me being in Salem and Boston not being too far away. On Halloween, when ghouls and ghosts, beasts and banshees, vampires and witches are on the prowl, are you prepared for the scariest night in Boston? There you have some witches at this baseball stadium. How fun. I am a witch's cat. This is by Harriet Muncaster. My mom is a witch and I'm her special witch's cat. So cute. Okay, every good witch needs a black cat. This is the story of one special cat and her good witch. A perfect twosome whether they are mixing potions, growing magical plants, or dreaming of wild broomstick rides under a full moon. Little jack-o'-lantern teapot. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Halloween. So are you ready for Halloween with wolves, witches, and everything in between? bunch of different little like poems slash stories. This cat's kind of kind of sinister, right? Well, the Halloween Sky Ride by Elizabeth Spur. She looks so happy. The skeleton soon hailed her. His bones could use some meat, he pled. Please, I'm so hungry. I rattle head to feet. A little witch and her little Halloween Sky Ride. This one is called Harriet's Halloween Candy. This is about a bear named Harriet and her Halloween candy. She's so cute. Look at her. <laughs> By National Geographic Kids 2011. It's just a Halloween book of fun. Ghostly games, creepy crafts, frightfully fun jokes, and more. You got like all sorts of little fun pages in there. This is a Halloween hunt and tells you what to find. Booderstitions. Can you predict your future with these food superstitions? How fun. Ask a banana a question. Need an answer fast? Pick up a banana and ask it yes or no question. Fill the banana and then make one slice near the end of it. If the lines in the center form a Y, the answer is yes. If not, the answer is no. This is how I should base all my life choices. Wish upon a slice of cheese. Find out when your dreams will become reality. Make a wish, then cut one, sli <laughs> then cut one slice of a block off Swiss cheese. Count the holes in your slice to find out how many weeks may pass before your wish comes true. I mean, it pretty much has everything, you know? This one is the very fairy princess, a spooky, sparkly Halloween. This one is by Julie Andrews and Emma Walton Hamilton. Look at her. It's time to find the perfect costume. So that's it for books and magazines. I ended up finding this wicker wreath. This reminds me of the Halloween ones that you can find for like 
$30. I probably will do a video about this. We can HIY a spooky wreath. I'll only be spray painting this black and then you can always throw like the little picks in it to make it spooky. I think I just got this for like $5. Actually, it's probably $4. I love collecting any kind of table runners, table placemats. I have a bunch of them. They're really nice because you can use them on shelves and dressers, like in your bedroom, in your office, to really um, bring more of a Halloween spirit to your space. So they're not just for kitchen tables. Like you can put them on nightstands, put them on the coffee table. But I found this set of three. Look at how cute these are. Got this Halloween plaid with all these little cute characters. You have cats, skellies jack-o'-lanterns, kind of just switch it up from the other placemats that I use every now and then. So yeah, like they're really cute. Adorable ceramic plate. This is from Gateswear by Lori Gates. I don't know like what year this was or anything like that. It's a little jack-o'-lantern snowman. Look at how fun that is. I don't even think I realized it was a snowman until once I got home. I was just paying attention to everything else. But I love it so much and I will definitely be using this. For what? I have no idea yet. No idea. Two cutest little glasses. Posted it on my stories or on my feed, I don't remember. But a lot of you guys were like, where did you get that glass from? And I'm like, I thrifted it. I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know where it's from. They're so cute. I love how tall and slim that they are. Um, and it just has the little ghost on there and then it has the words boo and it just has like little different ghosts with silly faces. Hocus pocus. You need to focus. So you can just see the little ghost faces and it says boo. But I thought those were really cute. One more item and we'll be done with this thrift find video. So remember when I did my Cracker Barrel Halloween haul and the Peanuts record um, and I was like, this is one thing that I don't collect, but I was like, I got the record because I found something else and you guys will see later and this is later. I'm showing you now. And I went to Hallmark and they had a Snoopy pumpkin cup. It was so cute. I ended up passing on it because I was like, how do you stop? Like, this is why I didn't want to do it. But this was why I got the record. This Peanuts shirt. And I love it so much. I thrifted this. It was $10. Like, that's way too expensive for a shirt at the thrift store. I guess I get why they charge $10 for it. And they have the original, like the Peanuts tag. They know to price it higher. Can we just appreciate this shirt? Some of the workers were like, you need that. I'm like, guys, don't start. I know I need it, but why is it $10? Can't wait to wear it. That's it for this Halloween haul. I hope you guys liked these items. Let me know what some of your favorites were. Tell me something good in your week. Tell me something good in your day. If you guys want more Halloween happy and want to know what I'm up to or what I'm doing, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. It's Halloween happy. All my social media links are listed down below. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. I hope this video finds you having a Halloween happy kind of day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.